doesn't look like they saw us, but we should leave before they spot us. Hello, hello, hello. So after our recent um, excitement here in Falkreath, I wanted to take a moment. Um, don't walk away. It might take decades to receive And do a little focus on Valerica. Treating Valerica like we have before with some other I've planted some new characters in the, the game. Garden. Okay, she's going to talk like crazy. But work. nonetheless, um, let's take a look at her stats and just show you, you know, how she comes to you in the beginning. Okay. So, first of all, using now, I have a mod that allows me to make her a follower, and we'll go over that. But right now, I just want to show you what her stats and stuff are, okay? And then we'll together these two shows, one about that mod and one about her here. That should, you know, make some sense and go together, okay? Uh, that mod, it's kind of hard to show you what it does. It's easier just to show you the mod. So I will do that. That'll be the next show we do. Okay. And pairing the two together, hopefully it will make some sense. All right. So anyway, so here we are. Let's look at her info. Now you got to remember Elric is like level 60 something. Okay. So we're going to just do a quick view of her stats. Now and this is the way she came at this level with, you know, Elric being like 67. She came to us as level 50. Now, I don't know if she'll level any more, so we'll see how that goes. Notice she has, you know, eh, health, stamina, magicka, pretty good. Um, she can resist, no, she is weak to fire. She <clears throat> really is ice resistant, and she does have an okay armor rating. I'll show you what she's wearing in a moment. Um, she's very good one-handed, very good light armor, uh, very good sneak, what else has she got? She's very good conjuration. She's okay destruction, you know, middle of the road, and alteration is middle of the road. So that appears to be her specialties, okay? So those are her specialties you can kind of see there. Now that was just her basic stats. She does have a bunch of spells she comes with. There we go. And it's just a lot of spells. I'm not going to go into all that, but you can see here it's a good list of spells that she comes with. She likes to conjure the the bony uh, Draugr Mist Man, which is fine. I, I like him. He looks pretty cool. Uh, Perk-wise, she has some perks. She has similar perks to Serana. She has Finding Stance, Hack and Slash, and Bladesman. So for her, she likes to carry this sword. Now the game... Oh, well, she also has light armor, custom fit. Does she have anything else? That's it. Okay, so she has a few perks. Now, she has this sword. You will see this sword here. She will not let me, or the game, yourself, will not let me life. access that sword. If I go here and look at her items, look at this. What did you want? It will not show me that sword. It will show me her apparel, and I can see everything she's wearing. And this is how she comes. She comes with this ring of regeneration. Frost suppression, which she really doesn't need, because um, she's 100% resistant to frost anyway. And then this vampire royal armor and these boots. Now, I did improve these boots to legendary. They did not come legendary. But nonetheless, you get the idea. Um, so she comes with that basic stuff. Um, let's see. Is there anything else here to say? Let's just go back in. We looked at her stats. We looked at her spells and her perks. Oh, her miscellaneous. She is marriageable. Um, that was the one thing she had that I believe Serana did not have, is that she's marriageable. Okay. And I, I changed it so that Serana is marriageable, but, uh, but she was not originally. So anyway, um, so Valerica, let me think, is there anything else other than showing you her fighting? Now, I made her, I'm going to show it's you something else. Home again. I made her What did you want? some better armor, okay? It doesn't really change the way she fights, because she's, well, maybe we should just take her out like this, and then uh, maybe I can show you the difference after that. Let's take her somewhere where she can do some fighting for us. And uh, then we will 
we'll talk about it a little bit more. This is just to give you an idea of what's, what uh, Valerica can do. Oh. All right, we're at Knife Point Ridge. And we've got some bad guys here. And I'm going to, these bandits here, I'm going to let, unfortunately, Shadow Mirror has joined in. I was wanting to let Valerica handle it. I'll be back oh, my goodness. Don't lose it. Okay, dude. All right, this is going to be a crazy mess. This is not what I wanted. No mercy, you're going to die for interrupting my show and bothering me at the bad time. How's that? All right, anyway, so let's get back to this. Now... Okay, there's the Mist Man she summons. Let me get my health back up. I apologize. This is not how I expected things to go. As you can tell, I was not prepared for this kind of chaos. Um, I'm going to put on the God Ring so I can just walk and show you Valerica in action. Anyway, that's the. This is the Wrath Man that she summons. He's cool. Um, of course, Shadow Mirror, you know. Now, this is Valerica in action. And she casts. And when she's fighting with. Uh, due to a mod I have, when she's fighting with Serana, she has some special abilities. But she's really just using her casting right now. And she's doing a good job fighting this bandit. My bandits and stuff are tougher than, than some of the others. I'm not sure what she's doing with that empty hand sometimes. But there she's casting up. She's casting an ice storm, which may not be the best thing. Oh, Shadow Mirror, good job. Now, who else they got? This is, we're at Knife Point Ridge, so there's a bunch of bad guys. Oh, look at that. She shot him from far away. Oh, they res that bandit. So now that's their bandit. Okay. So anyway, trying to give them a chance to work it through this. And do some fighting. What's this guy down here? Okay, I think he's the guy that's going to want that whatever the fugitive gave me. Okay, so we'll worry about that in a minute. Sorry this is such a mess, but this was unexpected, and Shadow Mirror has to get in on it. Shadow Mirror is like, he is the horse tank, as you know. But they're going to take down these guys, okay. Where did Valerica go? She's the one we're trying to show the most. Oh, she's up here. Here, let's... No, I don't want to get involved. Hold on, let's let her up. Valerica is still casting and doing her thing. There you go. She's, she's doing good. Good job. She took her out. That's all I would ask. Alright, so this was some craziness. But, um, I hope that gives you some idea, kind of, of what to expect. Um, I don't know if that does or not, but the two of them will fight together, and they will, um, they have, how, how do I say this, they, uh, Valerica especially is supposed to have a special spell or two that she uses, but we'll get into that, because I'm going to show you, oh. Past just now. Yes. How did you get this? Don't worry about it. Just uh, move never on, mind. dude. Here. Serana so has to get right in front. Do you see this? I'm going to track down that thief. <sighs> oh, I Murder tell you, him. these shows are always so crazy. Yes, yes, Serana, we all see you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got in on the camera. She is such a drama queen. Okay, so anyway, so this is Knife Point Ridge. I can't remember if there's more bad guys here. Oh, there are. Wait, I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to let the girls fight them. Come on. Oh, she's going to try to kill me, but she can't kill me. Oh, no. But Shadow Mirror, here comes Shadow Mirror and the Wrath Man. 
Oh, and that hunter. That hunter's still gonna help us out. He's so funny. But yeah, she wants to kill me. Look at that. Is that Serana way over there? Serana, you're just weird. So anyway... Hmm? But that's Polaricus. See, Serana's running around way back there. So that's showing you a little more of Valerica in action. She turns them into goo. I don't know what spell that is, but she turns them into goo, which is weird. Let's see if there's any more. Usually there's a few people around. This this place is weedier than normal. I think it's due to my, my grass mod. It's a little weedier than, than we would normally have. Uh-oh. Thought I heard weapons being drawn. I think there's some more bad guys around. Someone yeah, somebody's here. Hello. Huh? How you doing? Hello. Oh, she was determined to shoot me. And now here they come. And here comes Shadow Mirror. Shadow Mirror is so funny. Yeah, this has become a theme in this, uh, in this show. She oh, and she reduced her to goo again. Now, that's only happening with Val Valerica. That is not happening with anyone else. That has never happened except with Valerica. That she reduces them to do. And she doesn't always do it. But she does it with that spell. It seems that big explosive spell there. And then the Wrath Man. And, and Shadow Mirror's tanking. This is quite... That Hunter, he's just ad hoc. He's not a follower. That's funny. But he's just ad hoc following and helping. Oh, this this bandit is at it. There we go. There we go. Oh, and 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 goo again. Oh no. Well, I didn't mean to get on Shadowmir. Well, Shadowmir, I do appreciate your efforts, boy. I mean, you really don't have to do that much, but I do appreciate it. I mean, he has tanked dragons for us. It's hard to complain. So anyway, <clears throat> so you've seen Valerica in action. She does a lot of casting. She does have a good sword. Uh, and, and like I said, the game will not let me... Whatever that sword is, it will not let me access it. Now, I Help do have... Let me show you. I did make her up uh, some what did you want? equipment myself. Of course I did. Oh, we'll take that arrow so she doesn't have to be stuck with it forever. And what I made her was a sword that I called Valerica Bite. And I gave it a little bit of everything. It's pumped up. Um, and I gave her some pumped up armor and stuff. Let me go down here. I didn't name it. I gave her some jewelry with some good enchants on it to keep up her magic and everything. And I gave her this headpiece. I'm just showing you this so you'll know. I mean, you can outfit her. I'm using... Uh, amazing follower tweaks. Oh, the armor stat on this is way too much. <clears throat> That's not realistic. The reason it's so high is I'm wearing the god ring. Let me take that off real fast. There. Now that'll make her armor stats look normal. Um, but see, I made her. <clears throat> I made her some armor and enchanted it, which you can do. And she will wear these. And then you can take away the other stuff she has. We'll leave her that weapon, but we'll take away, like, this, this is really not, that, that's not really serving much purpose. I don't think that helps her that much. Um, those boots, okay, take away these boots so she'll wear the right ones, and take away this. Now, she should be wearing all the really enchanted stuff. Her and Serana, I've enchanted them pretty high, um... You need it for this game because I've got some strong encounter mods going on. Okay. Anyway, so that is our focus on Valerica. Valerica, stop for a minute. Anything you need in my now, let me show you what she looks like now that I have, like I said, I've kind of souped her up. Let's go into AFC options here. And this is, this is going to show you her stats with the, the armor pumping her up. She's got a lot more health and a lot more mana. You know, uh, it doesn't change her stats here. Um, her ice, she's still very ice resistant. She's got more resistance to poison and other things. Um, 
and it, it helps fight against her fire. Notice she has less fire, um, oh, that's not the right word, less weakness to fire. That's the word I'm looking for, less weakness to fire. Now, her spells isn't going to change, her perks isn't going to change, and her miscellaneous, okay, none of that's going to change. So really, I just wanted you to see those stats have changed. Um, now, she does use a variety of spells, and some of the spells that worry me is the Ice, ice Storm. That is an AoE spell that can get you into trouble. So I might remove that one. There is a way with AFT to remove Ice Storm, so I might do that. The rest of these are okay, but that's an AoE spell that could cause issues. Nonetheless, now I want to take you and show you the mod, because if you're going to use Valerica as a follower, you're probably going to need this mod. It's the only way I've found to be able to get her to be your follower. So let me take you and show you that mod, okay? Alright, so... The mod in question, it's an old mod, okay? It's Recruitable, Valerica, Wrath of a Mother. Um, the author of this mod is Sagittarius. I could not see that it was a port at all. It appears they are the actual author. It doesn't matter how uh, Valerica looks. It doesn't matter what replacer you're using. Uh, so you'll notice these pictures show a more vanilla appearance. But uh, basically, if you have this mod, I'm going to give you the basics. I'm not going to read all this to you. If you have this mod, put it in your load order. When, uh, when you're done with the whole vampire quest line and you're going back to get Val Valerica from um, uh, the... Uh, oh, I had it for a minute. Um, I wanted to say... Uh, the Soul Cairn, yes. When you go back to get Valerica from the Soul Cairn, then you, you'll have the option for her to be your follower. Now, she has to be in the castle. She has to leave the Soul Cairn and go to the castle. So what you do is you go back to the Soul Cairn, you talk to her and say, look, Harkon's dead or, or whatever, depends on your circumstances, I suppose. So come on back to the castle with us and she comes on back to the castle when she gets back to the castle then you can ask her to be your follower and she will now she has her own follower system okay and she has and it's a very limited follower system and it doesn't interfere with the the vanilla follower system so you could use her just like that however if you're using aft like me you can also manage her with aft just make her your follower first, and then you won't have any issues with it. <clears throat> and then you'll be able to manage her inventory and everything, just like a normal AFT follower. Now, she does have a quirk or two, and they tell you here, once you tell her to wait somewhere, she will stay there forever until you come back and find her. So be cautious about telling her to wait. Because if you're like me, I used to do this in Oblivion, I would tell one of my followers to wait somewhere and I would forget where I left them. <laughs> and I really have tried hard not to do that in Skyrim. I won't say it's never happened, though. Anyway. <clears throat> but if you make her wait in your home or somewhere considered friendly, she'll sandbox around in that location. So, so you can tell her to wait in your home. Or you could set her up, like if you use a mod like I do, you could set her up with a, uh, a home base that if, if she, if, that you could always just leave her at, you know. Now, here's another special thing about her. She comes with her own special ability that gets triggered if her and her daughter are both recruited. In other words, you have her and Serana as followers. Once you're in combat, if Serana is next to her, I assume there's a certain range, if they're close together, she will use her special power, A Mother's Wrath. With this power, Valerica will summon bats around her. The bats will make her movements faster and will drain health to nearby foes. So you may see some of that. When you ride a horse, it says she will conjure her own horse. I haven't seen that. Um, but anyway, it's not a big deal. But that's how you can recruit Valerica to be your follower. Now this isn't really a spotlight. There's nothing really to show on this. I already have Valerica as my follower because like I said, there's not much to show. I think what I did was I 
there's a few videos you can watch where I recruit Valerica and do different things. Um, but I don't think it's really a spotlight. I was showing you this more as a part of our focus on Valerica. If you use her as a follower like I'm doing. And, you know, just to see what kind of a follower she is. I think her and Serana together make good vampire followers. So, all right. That's everything. It's kind of backwards to normal, but this isn't really a spotlight. It's more like just a focus and then showing you this old mod so that you would know that it was there, that you'd be aware of it and have the option of using it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. Hello. I'm your friendly dragon vendor. I hope you've enjoyed your eggs. Now, could I interest you in some teeth, some scales, maybe a little bit of wing membrane? How about an eyeball or two? You know, something good for your alchemy. Think it over. You might enjoy it. Might have a few spines laying around that you could have. What about the um, what about a tongue? Yeah, we got some tongues. I got some tongues laying around. Maybe a talon or two.